Hello everybody, welcome to the Go Tarot Odyssey. How is everybody? I am going to do my best to do my read today without coughing. I'm a little congested. I think I might have caught a little cold or something on the plane and it is snuffing up my snooter, but this always gets me in a really good mood. It's very high vibrational, something I love to do. So while I still have a voice, I will continue to do it. In between watching Trader. Traders is the craziest like obsession that I have now. I watched the whole second series. I'm watching the whole first series. I'm going to watch the Australian series. I watched the postmortems. I just love it. I love the psychology of it. I love the really fierce and ferocious, gross things that they have to go through. It's totally amazing. But let's take a look at these. Of course, I have a brand new fabulous deck, but I can't locate it. So this was in my box right next to me. And I love this. So thinking of you is sending wishes out to people that we are hoping good things for, that they advance in life, that they are healing, that they are healthy, that they feel well, that they are living their dreams, that they are making happy plans, all of that. And I am thinking of that for you guys. I am thinking wonderful, beautiful trips and adventures, great relationships, strength, health, all of those things. Now, I want you to also think of yourself in the best regards using the best adjectives, okay? Strong, competent, worthy, all of those things that make us feel good about commencing with our day and knowing too that you are worthy of relaxation, taking a little perch on your mushroom with your little friends, recognizing that sometimes we push ourselves a lot and we want to advance and we want to conquer we want to produce but it's really important to also relax which brings us to the fennec fox which is we are a lot wiser and smarter than sometimes we give ourselves credit for think of all the things that we require our attention in life right from bills to taxes to um DMV, documentation, bureaucratic stuff. If you have children, all the stuff for your children, <laughs> everything. It's like there are so many little things that we just kind of tick, 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 tick all those boxes, buying food, cooking food, consuming food, <laughs> cleaning the house, feeding the animals, all of these things. We just kind of flip through it beautifully. We get it done. That's another thing that I want you to tell yourself at the end of the day. You did a fantastic job taking care of you and everybody else in your purview. Because sometimes we just think that's the norm. But there are some people that live completely on their own. They have nothing or nobody or anything to look after but themselves. And they still can struggle in terms of their profession, their personal lives, their intrapersonal relationships, their romantic challenges, all of those things. And when we think of, of I love the fennec fox because it's nimble, it has those big ears. So it's really also telling us, if you see both of them, the big, large ears, listen. We do a lot of talking during the day, but we really need to hone and be present and listen to what others are saying. That's something that was really apparent to me when I was watching traders. I'm like, these people, they, they're not really listening. They are jumping to conclusions. They are judging, engaging things incorrectly because poor listening skills. And when we really listen to someone, family member or otherwise, we can really see where they're at. We can really provide solace and help because we're really in the game with them. We're really listening to them. We're really trying to help them meet their challenges and feel good about things. But most of the time, people truly want to be heard. So let's get these Fennec Fox ears on and begin to listen. Now, Reflections is wonderful. And that one sec my nose is a little stuffed up. Reflections is important for us after we experience something to look back on it. How did we do that? How do we cope with that? What lessons did we take for that from that? And can we improve in some measure? You know, whether it is somebody trying to trigger us and we just take a breath and we recognize hurt people want to hurt people, argumentative people want to draw people into arguments. And when we have that calm, reflective energy, we're recognizing we are not going to go back into those habits and we're not going to be drawn in. And also taking a look how other people behave. Are they worthy even of our presence? Are they overreactive? Are they succubuses? Are they energy drains? Are they overdramatic? Whatever it is, you deserve the best people in your circle. And we're better equipped to find synchronicities and opportunities and all of these things by a little self-reflection. 
what's distracting us what do we need to put right in front of us it's like what is our next step and it really starts with mind body spirit right We've got to look after our mind what we're consuming what we're allowing in what shows we watch are we scrolling endlessly what is happening during the day in terms of of what benefits our growth and our expansion and what depletes that. You know, sometimes just being habitual creatures, we can pull in things that we no longer need that we've outgrown. And this is a time to open our ears, listen, and think of our highest self and what would our highest self do, right? Our highest self is always gonna take care of ourselves, mind, body, and soul. Put the right things in front of us, put the right things in our bodies, and put the right things in our purview so we are able to absorb the good things and commence, you know, with that crisp, aligned energy. So my beauties, that is what you were made to hear today. I'm gonna go blow my snooter. <laughs> I hope you all have a great day. Love and light.